When I saw for the first time the, the, the skeleton of Joseph Merrick, I said, wow, that's incredible. I mean, that's so much deformations. Uh, we can't imagine this guy was living uh, and he was living for 28 years. We are trying to answer um, or he was living or he was moving, what kind of problems he had because of his uh, pathology. So uh, that was his really interesting in, uh, in this project, yeah. So in this uh, virtual movie of his skeleton, I see a number of features that are very strongly suggestive of the diagnosis of Purdue syndrome. First is the severe degree of curvature that you can see, or scoliosis of the spine, which is a hallmark of this disorder. Although overall, when I look at the skeleton, the most remarkable general feature is asymmetry. That is, the effects that we see of the overgrowth are very different on the right and the left especially uh, visible here in the upper part of the spine or the cervical spine or the neck part of the spine, you can see the severe distortion of these bones. And that distortion of the vertebral bodies prevents them from being able to properly move with respect to each other, as well as it increases their height. And the symptoms that that causes in the patient is relative elongation of the neck, curvature of the neck, and fixation of the neck. The quality of the model which we provide is for anatomists and, and, and medical imagery. That's from medical and scientific imagery. So we didn't invent or create something new on the Joseph Merrick skeleton. The goal for us was to be the most accurate um, to provide to medical doctors and specialists the right data to work on.